and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 98. Live from Reno. I'm Neil. It's very echoey in here. I'm Annalise. So if the uh, podcast sounds like the sound quality isn't what you've come to expect from a professional podcast, such as Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, <laughs> it's because we're using our mobile equipment to record live from room 1054 at the not El Dorado. Not Neil's mo- mobile equipment. But what? Not what? I said not Neil's mobile equipment. What do you mean not Neil's mobile equipment? This mobile equipment, as opposed to your mobile equipment. Well, my mobile equipment is attached, so it's not exactly (laughs) mobile. Moves with you, though. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, (laughs) room 1054, the lovely El Dorado in Reno, Nevada. And it's a little echoey, so I apologize. And I'm sure that you can pick up the background noise, but whatever. And if you watch the YouTube video, (laughs) you can see that we have a lovely view of the Circus Circus. Dome. A parking garage and a giant metal boob. (laughs) <laughs> Posted some pictures of that for you guys. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> so there you go. The big so here, boob. Here we are. Cheers. And I'm drinking a dogfish head, head mm-hmm. ale mm-hmm. that they had. Uh, we were just playing some video poker. And so you, you get the comp drinks and dogfish head. Right. And that's like head. a $6 beer. It's crazy. Eat, it's more than that, maybe. Yeah. So I Yay. took one with me and took it back to the room so we could record. Yeah, she said it was cool. So here we are. I just asked that girl if um, that girl, just that had, random girl, th- that that bartender lady, if she had a free chance. Wow, so much respect there. I don't. I didn't catch her name. It's so funny because if a guy was saying that, I just asked that girl, that bartender lady, whatever, <laughs> that freaking <laughs> hole that serves booze. I wouldn't. I didn't say that. Come that's on what now. you meant. No, that's not what. It's what, I meant. what you said on the in the elevator. No, you were like that three hole booze Stop slinger. It. Three hole. <laughs> yeah, they got the the back, the front, and the. The Chupa, top? The chupacabra. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't think that I've ever heard you call that the chupacabra. <laughs> That's the first thing you said when we got in the... That's not. Three-hole boo slinger. I think I said ten, right? Ten <laughs> holes? No. Wow. You were just making on stuff 10th up. Ten floor? No. Oh. I think I stopped asking what floor we were on last yesterday. So, here we are. Yay. Uh, thank Freedom. you, everybody, for listening. Please go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to have some special uh, bonus stuff on our app. Ooh. So if you have our app, it's a free app. Get it. If you don't have it and you don't want it, that's totally cool. Thank you for <laughs> listening anyway. That's all right. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I mean, who, you know, who really wants a random app? I, I oftentimes, I've said this so many times, but it's like, oh, so I can have all my podcasts in one place or I can download your app and only have your podcast in another place that isn't with all my other podcasts? Sounds like a good plan. And I'm like, yeah, it is. There's bonus songs on there. There's a there lot is, of there's though, bonus stuff. Cool. Yeah. And we just like having it. We so. do enjoy it. That's why I poop I think it it's out. Fun. I think it's fun. That's why you poop it out? Pimp it out. Oh, pimp it out. There's no pooping out the Death <laughs> Pod app. You never know. <laughs> that I'm just so I'm so enthralled with three hole boo slinger. <laughs> it's gonna be my they, my new nickname. That's what I'm gonna get on the back of my jersey. Instead of Slut Whisperer, it's going to say Three Hole Boo Slinger. <laughs> See, so the hilarious part about this is I never even, like, thought about that, and you just came up with that on your own. So I what? wasn't Three trying to imply slinger? anything. Right, whatever. All right, let's get to it. We got a lot to cover today. <laughs> Go ahead. I have no notes. <laughs> no, I know. I was nothing. just going to say, how do you know? You don't have, have any nothing, notes. <laughs> nothing. So uh, oh the drive gosh. up was fun. Mm-hmm. And here we are. Spent all day yesterday. I was kind of sick. Yeah. Although I realized one of the things was, you know, I got injured writing Mm -hmm. and then I actually got sick. But even at home, it's not like total relaxing because we have the dogs and Mm -hmm. still got to do all that. So I think my body was just like, you can actually just relax for a day. And there's people laughing outside in the hallway. I'm going to go punch. Like, I don't. Okay, I'm all over the place. I don't understand this goddamn hotel. Last night, people are in the freaking hallway hallway partying. I don't know what's going on. I and just wanted to go get a freaking Diet Pepsi. <laughs> and people are like, Woo, what's up, bro? And I'm like, bro, go to your room. <laughs> freaking. That's your room's for. Party yeah. in there, not the hallway. And he Ooh. was a, a two-hold nozzle wearing Whoa. drink slinger. He also was slinging drinks, you think? Slinging them down his throat. <laughs> um, I think so where that... was I? Oh, so anyway, so I think my, my body <laughs> finally... <laughs> my body was like, you can just hang out and rest. So yesterday was pretty much, that's all I did. Yeah, so after... We got up to eat after breakfast. We, yeah, and then we just wandered around. Got up to around. eat lunch. 
And then after that, you're like, oh, that feels so good. So yeah, came to the, but I refused to give up. I wore my clothes the whole time. Yeah, I think it was nine o'clock at night where you finally took off your pants and shoes. And yeah, got to bed. Yeah, <laughs> but it was night. I was even like, napped with all those on. Yeah, it was like point, yeah. yeah. I felt much much better today. Yeah, I already had my clothes off. I was like, so are you going to commit to like <laughs> just? So we're weird. obviously not leaving this room. I'm, so <laughs> I'm so not used to doing this now without like headphones and here and looking at something. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't even know. Can you? Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear all the is ladies? Is this thing on? There's a. Uh, we some should just ladies. take this thing outside and be like, hey. <laughs> they seem like they're having. If you fun. want to be on the podcast, just, <laughs> they're already on the podcast. Yeah. So, um, I think was. I thought it was really funny that when we checked in, that uh, the lady who helped us at the front desk was super nice, and uh, she told us that we had a rad rate. Rad rate. Got a rad rate. You guys got a rad rate. We like, did. We That's do. Why we're here. It was <laughs> yeah. also Wednesday. I yeah. wanted to tell, like, what do you expect? It's Wednesday at the end of January in Reno. <laughs> like, you think they're of making money? Of course, we have a right rad rate. Yeah. <laughs> right. They're just happy to have us. And the funny thing is, uh, we're, I don't know if it's funny, but we're going home tomorrow, which will be Saturday, and there's a huge storm coming in tonight. So, yeah. it should be a fun ride home. It should be. Well, that's why we got the cross track. That's right, just in case. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> so. But um, I kind of like driving in the snow and when i say i like driving in the snow i like when you're driving and we're in the snow yeah. <laughs> it's very um pleasurable for me i don't mind driving in the snow what i don't like is when there's a bunch of traffic because a bunch mm. of idiots don't know how to drive in the snow right. and i'm like That's i don't scary. really want to get it's always the other drivers that scare you yeah so. so all right so what do you got um we starting from the beginning, or are we going to start at the end? I'm going to start somewhat from the beginning. Um, All right. You know, we uh, tweeted out that we were here and like, oh, we're at the El Dorado and in Reno, and El the El Dorado, Dorado responded. They retweeted us, they liked our stuff, and they responded and said, "Help you have a good time." That was pretty awesome. Why don't you come to your senses? That has nothing to do with El Dorado. El Dorado. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they retweeted because we're big time. Yeah, they knew we were in town. They're like, again, they're like, when, Wednesday night, Wednesday afternoon, the end of that January. Daft Pod got yeah. a rad rate. Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks got a rad rate. Let's retweet this to all our. <laughs> We've been having happy have hour every day. Come on. Wow, <laughs> hurts feelings. We got happy hour every day so far. We're gonna try to make it to happy hour after this. Yes, we. Uh, there's a cool little brewery here. That's actually the beer isn't that great, but it's all right. Um, but they're happy where they have two for, <laughs> two for one pizzas. And then yesterday we actually got three pizzas for the price of one. We were going to get four, but one was they call, two, one was too crispy. Yeah. They, they said, so your pizzas are really crispy, so we're going to give you some new pizzas. Them. So we're going to give you those pizzas and the new pizzas. Right. But she said, your, yours to me, she said, your pizza is a little too crispy. So right. you won't be getting that pizza. So we got three pizzas. <laughs> three pizzas for 10 bucks. It was we got, a yeah. good deal. It was a good happy hour. Yeah. yeah and two dollar beers. There Although you you've been getting the sampler, so and that's yeah. not on happy hour. I like hour. to sample it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm living, I'm like happy hour. I don't know who you would think I am, but I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need your pity. Bring the sampler. Bring the sampler. <laughs> chop, chop. What else you got? Because I got, I got nothing. Stop asking the, me what I got. <laughs> this is going to be the shortest podcast Apparently, in if you're not, if, <laughs> you need to take more notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Why? I'm in Reno. I'll try and think of Reno things. Oh, I won money. You've been winning money. I've been losing money. I've been losing also, but I did. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of the video poker. Yes. Well, we so we sit there. We play video poker for a while. We get, get free hammered. drinks. They got three um, vodka tonics. No, that and... was today. I'm talking the first right. night. Yes. Oh, went back to that. Yeah, I lost a ton of money that night. Yeah. Sorry, but I want it all back. Plus yes. Some. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> That's why we're a team. <laughs> Someone has to win the money back. That is. That is why I, we were talking. I wish. Like, we had a ton of disposable income, which is terrible, because if you have that much, you should give it to people, like, in need. But in my head, I'm like, no, people don't really need to eat, and people that are on the streets are only there because they want to be there. Right, okay. <laughs> so, right, I'm so. like, I can use this money. For myself. I'm like, in just to put, I just want to sit at a slot machine for, like, six hours and just dump much just for fun, like, just blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You know, because as I, as I put in, like, 20 after 20 after 20... Mm -hmm. And look outside, and it's snowing, and there's <laughs> homeless people out there. I'm like, why don't you guys get a job? Like, get a job so you can do this with me. Stop it. That's what I okay. think. Okay. People are going to think we're terrible. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think if anyone's listened to more than one episode, they know we don't really think that way. If you haven't, this is your first episode. I hope you're not homeless. If you are, 
download our free app. I think that we need to have, if, if you don't know this about us already, here's the deal. We, I'm interested in what you're going to say, I don't know. We're, we're not like super old, but we're older. We're pretty old. Touch me. And, but we totally Chasing us with dirt. party like old people, like we're in bed oh, 10. we eat breakfast like old people I was too. just getting to that. It's the breakfast crowd. We are like with the senior citizens or with the gray hair. We're ma- early bird specials. Yeah, we're, the buffet <laughs> opens at 7. We played bingo. <laughs> yeah, the buffet opens at 7.30. We're there at 7.45 in the morning and it's. And what's cool is like we're, the, I think we're, we're really there like eight thirty this morning. We're really young compared to the rest of the people we're right. dining with. But, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so two mornings in a row we've had like breakfast with the the seniors. We did play bingo, although it was kind of it was kind of like we had a DJ. And yeah, stuff. it was kind of like hardcore bingo. It was. It wasn't, and it was like super fast. Like if you weren't paying attention, you missed a square, and like what did you just say? Yeah, so it's it, it's it like a race. What there's the hell? a rum bar. <laughs> I think it's called Rum Bullion. Uh, I think so. And in the silver, there's a huge, silver legacy, there's two statues of Captain Morgan out front. I know yeah. that much. <laughs> and they just the DJ music is freaking thumping. And right. I mean, to the point bingo. where we're like, what would he say? Yeah, and they do bingo. And then the guy <laughs> tells what? terrible stories. I wish he'd just shut up and call yeah, it numbers. I, yeah, the, yeah, the bingo guy was terrible. And what's funny is the uh, bartender guy actually was like, yeah, this guy. <laughs> this we typically have a really cool bingo dude, but this guy. Yeah, I know he was not digging the. Yeah, so the we're bingo like guy. we're like old people. It was pretty awesome. It was good. It was hilarious, and I felt really bad because I didn't like the the beverage that the bartender made me, but I probably just well, we chose unwisely. Yeah. Well, it sounded good on the. It was just super sugary. Yeah, yeah. it was just too much after over the top. It was all bright day. blue. Yeah, like after all day drinking and stuff blue. like that. So unnatural. Yeah. I was going to say something, I forgot what it was. Was it about how we party and how we do uh, early birthday no, specials? No, we were talking which about Which is something. why we got to pick up the pace and make it to happy hour. We were talking about something <laughs> earlier. It was something about gambling and money and homeless people, people listening. I don't know. <laughs> eh, who cares? Good take notes. <laughs> I know. Well, no, because we were saying it. But I, when we were... I um, notes for that. Um, yeah? So, so far, I think we've had like a few different bartenders, obviously. And uh, there was the bartender guy... Part of yesterday, I think it was. What's that? Was yesterday? No, but um, he was telling a lot of stories. He's very boisterous, and uh, one of my favorite things uh, when people start telling stories is um, he started most of his stories with when I used to party. Are you talking about the bartender that was there breaking the other bartender? No, no, it wasn't when I used to party. It was when I was in jail. No, that's that too. But at one oh, okay. point. Before that, because I think he started that that the jail talk later, but when we like first sat down, he was having the when I used to party stories. I don't remember and the then, when I used to party. Right. I remember the when, when being he was in, in jail, jail. <laughs> and then it turned into jail stories, and then I jumped in. I chimed in. I'm like, yeah, bro, totally. <laughs> so it was, it was fun. We talked about jail. Talked about our time in jail. <laughs> It was good. Yeah, I just thought it was funny. Like, it's so hard to not listen, but you it's can't help yourself. It's good that he didn't call me out, because at least I knew the lingo. It would have sucked if he's like, yeah, so uh, where did you do your time? And I would have been like, sing, sing. And he's like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, uh, whatever. Okay. I'm out of beverage, so you guys are just going to have to drink on your own. <laughs> <laughs> because I everybody. don't have any more ice to shake. Right. So. Well, you can drink some water. I suppose I we could. We can drink some nice El Dorado water. El Dorado water. Purified drinking water. Enhanced with minerals. We normally bring um, beverages or su- beverage supplies with us. I, was, I, I hate your I shoes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we normally bring like, stuff to make beverages in the room. But we realize as we get older, we don't <laughs> make <laughs> the beverages in the room anymore. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that we did like a couple times. Or we used to. Yeah. Because like we brought them so we could. And I kind of wish we had it yesterday because... I didn't feel sick, and you did. Well, feel I sick. told you to go. I know, have but fun. I. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I would have loved to like have like a little picnic in here with like my beverage and my my chips and my salsa. Like, I would have just hung out. You Why know? don't you just go down and get a beverage? Like, I, I didn't realize we could take him to go. Like, oh. I, I only well, you found can that also out go today. to the gift shop and just buy a bottle of something too. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. And mm-hmm. I do have that twenty percent off coupon. Mm-hmm. Damn it! There's Pretty, still time. Oh yeah, There's all still right. Time. Should we talk about how we've been trying to get the stupid? Uh, Oh yes. So when like we come, so days? we know is ridiculous. One of the biggest reasons we come is to people watch and just hang out. There's really not a ton to do except gamble and drink. Right. During the winter. And, and well, like, I mean it's fun. We just hang out together, like yeah. 
We're just, it's just fun yeah. hanging out together. It's a, and everything for, is so cheap. So For us, we're, uh, as people have probably known, we're fairly active when we're home. So sometimes it's nice to just go and do nothing. Right. And one of the reasons we go away, because you can do nothing at home, but, you know, at, at home we still, I know it sounds totally ridiculous, but you still have to play with the dogs and walk the dogs and pay bills and all. So when you when we get when to home, board you, you the dogs. You have to do stuff and you feel like you should be doing stuff. Yeah. At least when you're here, you don't have that feeling that I There's should just nothing. So be doing you something. Yeah. So, it, so that's one and of the reasons. something for the greater good. And Reno's fun because <laughs> it's super cheap and there's a lot of fun yeah. watching of people and all that. So um, one of the things we like to do when we come here is we actually go to the little theater in the El Dorado and watch whatever show, live yeah, we show. We saw the Michael Jackson review. We saw a Christmas thing. No, the Magician. Yeah, Those magician. are the only two we did. Right. That and we then did we did the, the magician. Yeah. Um, and this extravaganza. And right now they have Footloose going on, which I would imagine is just a bunch of dancing to the music. Singing and dancing, yeah. Footloose. But we've realized that they have this little kiosk where you can slide your, you players, your players' card. Yeah. Club card. And you can get like two for one for the show. And so we're like, we've we that. always get it after we buy the tickets. Right. So this time we're like, we're going to do it before we buy the tickets and get two for one. We never got the, we got coupons for. Half off your room stay, twenty percent off at the gift shop, but we never got the freaking. Right. So, so we're, we're not, not going to go. We're like screw Footloose, <laughs> screw El Dorado. We are not paying full price for Footloose. God damn Actually, it. Actually, El Dorado treats us pretty well. They do. We're like just, royalty here. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, so we've been like playing. You can play like every two hours. So every two hours, we go and like scan our cards. Not it's kind of cool. They have windows when you're in the casino floor, and you can see outside. And some Reno has some homeless people, and it's really cool because I can go up to the uh, promotion desk, and I can be like really don't want to look at homeless people right Stop now. They should get it. a job. That is and they'll not go and clear them off the street. At all. Stop no, it. I'm totally joking. Why are you making up terrible stories? I don't know. I'm having fun. <laughs> having fun at the expense of homeless people. Um, Because they're there because they want to be there. Just saying. We uh, we had this meeting at work once. It was like everybody who works for the area place I work for. And they had this meeting. And one of the was discussions... Was it how to treat the homeless people? Yeah. One of the discussions <laughs> was like, you know... There's a lot of homeless encampments, and what do you do with their stuff? Do we throw it away? Do we save it? And one guy says, I don't understand why we can't, this is no joke, I don't understand why we can't give all the homeless laptops, so that way it would be easier for them to find jobs. And I was like, uh, everyone, I I think everybody in the meeting was like, uh, uh, yeah, that's the issue. (laughs) They don't have a laptop and Wi-Fi. It's not the fact that they have some medical and mental issues and maybe they need help and you know like need you know to get a head start right it's because they don't have a laptop yeah they don't have clean clothes a lot of times laptop is what you need i I volunteered (laughs) at homeless shelters before and i I remember a lot of times you know you're like scooping the food or you know picking stuff up or doing whatever and they'd say man i'm down on my luck wish i had a laptop Right. And I'm like, dude, that happened all the time. I'm with you. I'm like, it's your iPhone. They're like, my iPhone is more shit, man. I need a laptop. And I'm like, I hear you. So that's hilarious. Like, did he explain himself? No, no. We like, moved you on. don't get to talk. We moved you on. get to stop talking. Yeah, we moved on. We don't need to hear your ideas. That was it. <laughs> all right, we have to talk about what we did today. Okay. Because it was awesome. All right. And yeah, and I know you wanted me to tell my nickel big, big pig story. Yes. Well, let's do that first. All right. And then we'll get into what we did today. We were talking at breakfast, and I totally forgot about at, this. At our senior's breakfast. <laughs> right. At our senior's breakfast. But A-A-R-P. about 20, 20 years ago, more than 20 years ago, I used to go to Lake Tahoe. Still do sometimes. But I used to do a lot of skiing. Back then, it was skiing. Not snowboarding. <laughs> Didn't graduate to snowboarding yet. I don't even think snowboarding was invented yet. Um, no, for real. It, I, so, you used to stay at this place called the Tahoe Biltmore, and it was... Uh, nineteen ninety nine a night. It included so it twenty bucks a night. It included, <laughs> um, <clears throat> you got breakfast for a dollar ninety nine, and it included an all you can eat spaghetti and garlic bread dinner, wow. and it included one lift ticket to one of the local resorts. That is that crazy. It was insane. But back then, a lift ticket was like. 15, 20 bucks. And how, but how nice was it? The Biltmore, not very. They, they put you out in the motel, which is. Well, you've, you've seen it. But right, you it, pointed it out. It's like um, little cottages in a parking lot. But right. still, it's warm and, you know. Right, it's a place to stay. They used to have, they did uh, dollar beers, nice. bottled beers. Anyway, it was, Lord. so my little young long-haired self would go there and go with friends, girlfriends, whatever was going on at the time. And, um, and, that, and that was actually, I believe that was 
the weekend rate. No, that must have been during the week. I can't imagine that was the weekend rate. Yeah. Um, 25 on the weekend, But anyway, they, they was a, <laughs> yeah, I think it was, to be honest with you. Um, and it was, obviously, it's a casino and hotel, but a very small casino. And they had nickel slots. And there was one nickel slot, old slot, that was called Big Pig. And the most, I think, nickels you could play at once is five. I think the most you could bet is 25 cents. And it was like the old school one arm bandit style. It had a little digital screen, but it was like actual, the little red LED lights. And if you if you got three pigs on your the bar below, then the little LED thing would light up, and it would have a bunch of pigs around the LED screen with different numbers in their bellies, and that's how many nickels you would win if the little arm stopped on that. And so, of course, in the nickel area, it was usually older ladies because they had like the bus tours that went to Tahoe. Right, in the penny nickel slots. Yeah, <laughs> and it was in a section by itself. It was like here's the poor people section. So it was usually like. <laughs> You know, late teens, <laughs> early 20s people, and then really Seniors, old people. Yeah. yeah, and it was awesome because everyone got along, you know, got your free drinks. So I would sit at this machine for hours. I put 20 bucks in and for hours. And that was back when the mach- the, the coins actually dropped out. <laughs> actually, you couldn't put $20 in. You had to get nickels and put nickels in. Wow. It was awesome. So this one time, very I hit the big pig. Interactive. I, I tagged that pig <laughs> big time. Bagged it and tagged it. Yeah, it was my three-hole alcohol no, slammer that night. I wasn't. love that. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so I won, and then I, I got the three pigs, and then the LED thing went crazy, and the thick pigs kept going around. It's like you won 50 nickels, you won 100 nickels. I ended up winning 100, $125 in nickels. But it took so long for me to win $125 <laughs> while this thing was going on that like six little old ladies came and they were surrounding me and they're like, oh my God, the pig. Oh, you got another pig. And, it, and the machine would be like, ding, 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 the machine would be all big, big pig every time you got a pig. It's like big, big pig. And I was so excited. And these little old ladies, were like, so we all hung out for a while. And then I had like six freaking cups. Right, because that was still time you had to actually scoop out the nickels into a bucket. And I was, I was rolling so deep that they had to send somebody over from the casino cage to help me out because I couldn't carry it. So it was like $150 in nickels. I want to... I want to. I think it was one twenty-five. It could have been more. But I remember that weekend I went home after, or not the weekend, but I I stayed two days, snowboarded two days, gambled, ate, drank, and all that, and I went home with a hundred dollars more than I went up with. there. And back then it was like I was like I'm straight pimping. Yeah. I'm like freaking Tahoe ain't got nothing on me. That's hilarious. And it's actually in uh, North Shore, because South Shore is where the big casinos in Tahoe right. are. So there's a couple, sm- there was the Calneva. This is actually the place that um, Frank Sinatra used to own. The Calneva. Here. Yeah, the Calneva. And he owned the Biltmore. There's a tunnel underneath. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. So uh, so it was it was pretty cool. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's where I'd say when I'm out. We went in the there the last time we went to Tahoe. It's not all the, upscale now. Not the last time we went to Tahoe together. The first time we went to Tahoe together, we went to the Calneva, and it was all, like, closed down, and the pool was, like, yeah, emptied. It's, it's, and, yeah. and I was like, what the hell is going on and here? And it sucks, because that place was the place right, to Right, it was the place it was to the, go. Yeah. There's right. pictures on the wall of, like, JFK and Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, like, partying the bra- in there. The and rat like, pack. someone needs to freaking do something about this. No, like, it's they, just... I think they tore it down. Oh, no way. And it was interesting. The pool was... That was that's in, heartbreaking. In, in, Half of the hotel Somebody is in California, and half of the hotel is right, in Nevada. Right, and there's that line there's in the, the middle. Line through the and pool. this line goes through the State pool. Line. Right, yeah. right. So That's so was, cool. Yeah, North Shore was awesome. There was a tra- Tahoe Brewing Company right there. I had a blast there as a kid. Yeah. It was so much fun. And then, like I said, that's where I'd go for mountain biking, because we'd uh, go downhill mountain biking at North Star. <laughs> and um, then then when the Biltmore got out of my price range, because it ended up being like 30 bucks a night. Oh, God, no way. There was the Calneva <laughs> Motel, which was next to the Calneva, which was like 15 bucks a night, and it was an old six, like, they didn't do, and you walked into the room. Like and a 1950s Motel 6. Oh, my God, that, you walk into the room, and it smelled like cigarettes and sperm. It was, like, just disgusting. Whoa, whoa. But they let whoa. you take your bike into the room. So gross. <laughs> and we all had mountain bikes that, like, cost more than our cars, you know, so we're right, like... Right, so, like, we're... I'm, not just, saying, I'm sleeping with this And thing. I was rolling in a freaking Mercedes that... No, I'm joking. Right, no, 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 we all had, like, little beat-up trucks and stuff, and right. so, you know... Did you... Is that when you had a truck, or is that when you saw your little Beetle? Because uh, how did you take your bike up there? I had my truck. <laughs> no, I had so, a bike rack on my Beetle. So everyone was like, we're taking these in there, because it's worth more than, yeah. like... Yeah. I, I called up, and I asked the guy, and I'm like, hey, can we put our mountain bikes in the room? And he's like, totally. And we got to talking, and he's like, yeah, me and my wife live on property, and we run the hotel, we don't own it. And he's like, bring up a couple steaks, we'll barbecue them for you. And no doubt, he'd bring a barbecue out in the middle, and whoever was staying at this place, if they wanted a barbecue, you just give them the food, and he'd barbecue it. Wow. Yeah, we had a, we used to take, 
as uh, some Family people stuff. have heard, one of my guilty pleasure beers is Corona Light. So we just take <laughs> cases of Corona Light up there, and barbecue, and hang out <laughs> on the. It was a black. Mango Mountain. And that's the summer. Ta- that's Tahoe the summer. Tahoe summer for me right. is like one of my favorite places. That's hilarious. I'd like to get back to downhill mountain bike. It's weird because I want to go with you, but you're not really a bike rider. And right. I can't just throw you on a bike and take you downhill mountain biking. Right. And so I've thought of like, how could we do it? And I'm like, I don't know what you could do, you know, for right. six hours during the day while I'm riding. I don't know either. Yeah. And it's a <laughs> shame there. because there's not a lot. There's not a ton to do. But well, there there is. I mean, and. And maybe we should think about because North Star now, well, they have a Ritz Carlton there, so it's, I don't even know how much it would cost <laughs> me to mountain bike there anymore. There might be enough that you could for a few hours, you know, or I could you could drop me off and then go back to Tahoe City or read books or you know whatever. But right. I, I mean, I would really enjoy to go. I just I really miss it. Well, I mean, it's one of those weird things too. Where like, although at my age now, it might not be the best idea. <laughs> right. Whew, a little accident prone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I'm fair. Well, it kind of goes back to that story where I, you know, I'm fairly athletic, and um, I've only been snowboarding once, but I snowboarded by myself all day long that whole day. Yeah, I just never, I never learned how to stop, so I would just throw myself down every time. So I was pretty right. tired by the end of the day. Right. But um, I think that I, the, I, if I think that I did some training, I could. Well, the the neat you know, thing about get the, up to do the the downhill bunny bike ride slopes. Yeah, and it's actually <laughs> cool because it's cool. You, I mean, you take this chair lift up, right. and then you ride down. And there's a couple of trails that are really super mellow. But if you're just not experienced in how to do, it, it can also be very dangerous. Mm. You know, so it's it's like I don't, you know. So anyway, anyway, we'll talk about um, it. We got but it's topic. you know, it's a blast. <laughs> it might be worth going up because again, like I said, if you know. I go up and, and even if it's six hours and you're, you know, doing something else, we still have like the whole night and all that stuff right. to do things. So, I mean, I could probably keep myself busy for a while with like books and spa-ness and the gym. and. There's like also that. a possibility, depending where we stay. I don't know why we're talking about this now. Right. I'll talk about it later. Right. Okay, so <laughs> you guys don't need to know this. Yeah. Sorry about that. They're like, all right. I'm gonna Hello, look, we're recording I'm gonna this look conversation. At the stats and it's like 28 minutes. Yeah, everyone shut it off. <laughs> All right. Um, I kind of have to tinkle. Do you, I'm, should we? What? How, how long can you talk if I tinkle? I can talk for a while. Absolutely. Keep talking, and All I'll right. talk about awesome shinola that we yeah. did today. So uh, here's something that's kind of fun. <laughs> um, we do videotape our podcast, and if you want to go to our YouTube channel and check it out. And today we did something, and we have a two-and-a-half-minute video up. Oh, my God, that's loud. What was that? I don't know what she's doing in there, but some sort of squealing. Um, we have a, uh, a YouTube video that we put up of something we did today, and we'll, we're going to talk about it in a minute, but it's two and a half minutes, and I think it's pretty pretty funny. Um, and coming up, uh, for the app, we're going to do, uh, we actually have set to release our voicemail uh, episode, which is since we started podcasting, we're going to play and comment on all the voicemails that we've got I know it doesn't sound exciting, but some of the voicemails were purposely people called in to say insane stuff because of uh, my craziness with the voicemail and the transcription. So anyway, Annalise is back. Hey, you sorry turned about on, that. You turned on the water and it squealed I did. like crazy. Oh, no, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So go on. Okay. Yes. Should, should I just dive into what we did today? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure where you were because I couldn't hear you over the yeah, water. That's fine. <laughs> I have to pee too. But okay. I think I'm, I'm going to try and wait. Are you Let's sure? Go. Yeah. Okay. So um, we thought of doing something, or you brought it up yesterday, and um, we ended up doing it today because we weren't feeling so great. We right? talked about it before when um, we were here, but we just never did. Right. So we decided to do a day trip to Virginia City, right? Virginia, AKA one of the most haunted places in the world. So Virginia City <laughs> is an old coal, uh, not coal, gold, gold, silver mining town. I silver mining town. A uh, mining town of some right. kind. They mine something. Right. And uh, Ghost Adventures has been there a few times to Three investigate. Three times. Three to investigate. Times. <laughs> and it's it's also a cool, like, all the buildings are still from, like, the 1800s and the saloons. And there's the suicide table. And there's a bunch it, It's cool. It's, it's really a, cool. And it's pretty much, uh, for people who don't know, it's, I think it's at 6,000 feet. It's up in the freaking mountain. Yeah. It it's just not, like a town on the side of a mountain. Yeah. And <laughs> it's very much like maybe two... No, maybe four city blocks long. Right. And that's it. That, that's the main drag. And there's obviously, like, to the side, there's a few yeah, blocks church, of, like, houses yeah. and churches and schools and things like that. And then there's a lot of uh, people have, like, ranches and stuff around it. Right. But 
the city proper that you walk up and down is but only it's a pretty few cool. blocks. And it's and yeah. like I said, it's all the old eighteen hundreds right. building. It's so weird to see like the. Um, it's funny because the as buildings original as it can be and still be safe. It's not to that be safe. in. <laughs> they don't There's no way it's that safe. Yeah, it is not safe. <laughs> the buildings at the foundations are much closer to each other than they are. <laughs> Up at the roofs, like by feet. You're like, right. what the hell? <laughs> the, yeah. yeah, the building's leaning one direction. Yeah. But um, but it's yeah. cool, and it's a small. It's got you know, small old town, and and their big claim to fame is that Ghost Adventures were there. Right. Well, I mean, obviously, the claim to fame part of it is like, um, but Mark now Twain was there. Well, it's and, where Mark Twain started his writing career. Right. But still, they're claim to fl- f- flame, claim <laughs> to fame now because if you look in. The places where the Ghost Adventures... I guess if the Ghost Adventures even looked at one of the buildings, they're like, Ghost Adventures looked inside this building. Come on in. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, it's like you're a real estate right. office. I don't know why I want to go in there. <laughs> There's um, also the um, the, Her- the original um, Hearst family fortune started there as well because um, uh, Randolph Hearst's uh, father started day- as a day trader in one of the like places there and started trading in like stocks from the mining town there, so... That's where he had the, the Hearst fortune story. I learned that today. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> he well, learned something suicide, new every yeah. day. <laughs> so uh, we decided to shoot a, a quick video of Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, <laughs> Ghost Misadventures yes. in Virginia City. So but it's real so. quick. We were just having fun. And and it's going to look like so we're totally ripping on the Ghost Adventures crew. We love crew. them. We love it. We're actually fans right. and enjoy it. So it's it's... If they take offense to it, not that they'd ever hear they about it, or if any sure. of the people that see it or hear it think that we're ripping, we're not. It's just fun. <laughs> it, we were just having a good time. And if you don't like it... That's okay, too. You, maybe you're homeless, and you shouldn't be. Well, don't start your crap. <laughs> so, um, if you've been listening to us for a while, you know that I think around the... Hall, hall, was, did we go around Halloween when we did the, our little Napa ghost tour? Uh, was it Halloween? It may have been. But um, so we did the Napa uh, City little ghost tour thing. I forget what it's called. It's called uh, Napa Legends and Ghost Walk. Yeah. And uh, and they do it's it's a great little tour that they do, and they do one for Santa Rosa, and it's really fun, and they're really cool people. And they just recently filmed an episode with Ghost Adventures, and it's going to um, air Soon. in like a week. Yeah. So we'll probably pimp that out Talk too, that. just because it's yeah. hilarious. Because they anyway. We should send them the link to our <laughs> yeah, video. We, <laughs> They probably enjoyed it. They anyway, probably enjoyed it. So we had a really but, good... Virginia City, it's actually a lot of fun. We actually talked about We had about a great time. We were only there for a couple hours. Maybe staying great there overnight because it's right. pretty cool. Maybe like one of the times we come here, we it like, on the third night, we stay there. whatsoever. But, well, we didn't really hang out let's say in this, the bars. There's a ton like of old tiny pictures everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. A lot of old tiny. A lot it's of so, old tiny. <laughs> it's so weird to look at pictures and it's like, you know, this guy was around in 1874. Yeah, and he built this a couple pictures of the old timey picture walls and things like that. I'm like, wow, that's just crazy. <laughs> so uh, we bought some fudge. Yep. <laughs> because that's what you do in small towns. They always, as you pointed out, a lot of these small tourist towns always have like candy huge shops. candy shops. Yeah. And usually what more is, than one. And you're like, why are you trying to push the candy? What is the deal with the, like, people always are like, big candy shop. I'm going to go see some historical stuff. You know what I could use right now? Some taffy. Right. <laughs> I need some Virginia City taffy. That's always like on the on the coast towns, um, like Bodega Bay. So there's always like that big taffy place. And you're like, why, do, why taffy? Why? It's insane. But Virginia City was fun, and the, our Ghost Adventures video is kind of fun, yeah. I think. I didn't see it, to be honest with you. I, uh, I it's was hard for you to watch yourself. I was par, part of it. You know, I was in it. It's on our YouTube channel. Check it out. Yeah. But, Two and a half um, minutes. <laughs> um, and Virginia it's, City it, like, it wasn't very busy, but apparently it's very busy in the summertime. And uh, But it has a, it had a really cool vibe. Like It's a really it cool, a cool place, place to wander around, and I would love to go and spend the night. And I would love to spend the night in one of the old hotels where it's upstairs yeah. and maybe one of the ones that they did the ghost adventures in that'd be awesome i want to yeah. do that i think it'd be fun it'd be fun let's do it i say we do it <laughs> I'm, I'm totally in i'm into it absolutely I'm choking all right i don't have anything so wherever you're at you have to keep going because i don't have i don't remember anything <laughs> got nothing um, wow um, we've already like kind of burned through my list for the most part. We just do the favorite five. We, we can do a short episode. Yeah, it's fine. sure. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, by the time we, uh, you know, we talk so much that by the time we'll make it to an hour, no problem. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, we're at <laughs> 35 minutes now, so we're good. Oh, really? Do you have yeah. a timer on there? I do. Oh, I gotta look at this little thing so I know what's going on. I don't even know <laughs> if it's recording. To be honest with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> it might be doing this episode again. Who knows? All right. I know it looks like I have a lot of notes, I know. but we've already talked about them all. That's crazy. Yeah, so like, you want to hear, you know, you want to hear my notes? Yeah. Okay. The story is that to start with when I used to party. Yeah. Reno, rad rate. Rad rate. El Dorado responded. Free crispy pizza. Uh-huh. The, the breakfast cat crowd. Yeah. Virginia Dirty. Oh, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> Virginia Dirty. Okay. I didn't hear that. Sounds like a crazy sex move. It's like the Dirty Sanchez. I went from the Dirty Sanchez right into the Virginia Dirty. <laughs> There's poop everywhere. I don't Stop. know what to say. Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> so, um... I was tweeting out some stuff today for like, you know, hey, we're going to Virginia City and I it autocorrected to Virginia Dirty and I tweeted it out. You're going to Virginia Dirty? Yeah. I'm like That's I'm hanging hilarious. out in Virginia Dirty. That's a thing. And I was like, whoa, 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 and I caught it. Like I didn't catch it before I tweeted it, but I instantly caught it after that and I hit delete and redid it. But so I don't know if anybody saw that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Virginia Dirty. I will say that Death was, Pod hanging out in Virginia Dirty. I like it. The one thing that was weird was that we put in the car navigation like the address. Oh, of right. Virginia we totally City. got lost today. No, we didn't get lost. It wanted to take us on like some weird dirt road over yeah. some mountain. Yeah. And I'm and so I looked on uh, the map when we got back, uh-huh. and that dirt road will take you and cut you why, back in. Why did you, navigation want to Because it's that the way? shortest. It is oh, the shortest, the shortest distance, but I'm like, why would you take us off a paved road onto a dirt road right. at 4,000 feet elevation? No. So needless to say. She obviously didn't know there was a storm yeah, coming. she was a bitch. She's a bitch. Oh, it's so, raining. It is. Yeah. Probably going to start really snowing windy, soon. Yeah. yeah, it's really windy outside. It's going to yeah. be fun trying to get home. All right. <laughs> It was a very a uh, windy, tonight. windy country, ro- not windy mountain road. It was. A, we went over. Well, it's. Yeah, I forget what it's called. Something great. Um, yeah, Myers it's grade. the uh, three forty one. Yeah, it's a highway. It's but. crazy. Uh, all right. Anyway, let's get. You want to do just do your favorite five and get the hell out of here? Yeah, let's do your favorite five like and go. Crazy. Do you want to just go now? Can you talk? For um, a minute? can I talk about the dogs? You can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> I'm gonna go pee. So as you guys know, Although, we border you'll probably dogs. Probably hear me pee because guess why you got turned on the water. <laughs> That's why you guys turn on the water so you don't hear the pee. So it just sounds like water. Whatever. So it's pee slash water. I don't know if you guys are going to hear that or not. But um, so we board our dogs while we're gone. You guys know that. And um, we got a re- we are, the person who watches our dogs while we're gone is super awesome and super attentive. And she always sends us updates and it's super cool. We really like it. She knows how much we're into our dogs. And <laughs> she was telling uh, Neil how different our dogs are and uh, how... You know, our puppy nine is just crazy and runs around and apparently jumped up on something and knocked a whole bunch of stuff down. Maybe we're not really sure. (laughs) And then on the other hand, zero is just like sleeping through the day and like maybe doesn't really want to eat. And then she finally got him to eat. But like he's just so sensitive (laughs) and lazy, apparently. I think that uh, zero is probably just like, thank God that the puppy can play with somebody else now. Thank God she's going to sleep the entire time we're gone. <laughs> oh, I just realized that I walked through the video zipping up my pants. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Let's do our favorite five. Let's do our favorite five. Yes. So your favorite five pick this week is... I like how you're blaming it on me. Always. Um, favorite five things to see when people watching. So one of our favorite things to do up here is people watch. You see in the casino and at breakfast and all that. And there's like, there's those things that you when I people watch and I'm like I hope it's like part of my looking in you know windows. right in the windows <laughs> yeah it's like there's those things that you want to see like I just when this happens I get very excited, excited. Okay. then I realize as I made my list I'm a creep wow so okay. that's all I can say about this <laughs> well you'll tell us apparently yes okay um should I start sure okay so see I went all happy on this all right list. And it doesn't always happen... Oh, well... Here's popped. Okay, so my favorite five, I'm just going to say it and then explain it. So it's... Um, this is number five. Seeing families um, having fun and, uh, like, just seeing families on vacation having fun together. Mm-hmm. And, like, with the little kids and stuff, like, just for example, you know, we've been here, and there's Circus Circus here, but... And so you see, like, you see the families wandering around, and, and when I'm in, like, Reno or Vegas, I'm, I'm always thinking to my in myself, like... In myself? To, in myself. I was thinking in myself. Wow. Mm-hmm. Woo. So I was thinking to myself that, like, why would you bring a kid here? <laughs> like, there's, you know, like, it's smoking and gambling and drinking. It doesn't seem very conducive. Just like home. For kid- <laughs> That's why they bring them it's there. It's just like my house. Yeah. <laughs> so you can totally bring a kid The only over. difference is it doesn't smell like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> big pig, big pig. Big, big pig. <laughs> but, 
So, and, but then, like, you know, you see people and they're having fun and they're playing, like, the circus circus games and, like, the kids are just having a blast. And then, like, you can see that the parents are happy that the kids are having fun. And so, it's just, anyway, it's kind of cool to see, like, the families having fun at a place like this where at first you don't think that that's, you're like, what the yeah. hell? Why what would you bring your kids here? here? Yeah. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And now I get it. Everybody's- and then, like, yesterday I saw, um, we saw, you were there too, uh, like a couple and then like two little kids. And I was like, why, are you, like, what are you doing? Like, just, you know, like, but then, you know, they were just like wandering around. And at one point I saw them later and she was like, the two little kids were like kind of playing on the floor and she was like taking pictures of them. And I'm like, okay, so they're just hanging out, doing yeah. stuff. So yeah. anyway, it's, just, it's kind of fun to always see that. Yeah. Uh, my number five is kind of related to that. <laughs> okay. Mine is I like it to see families and then see the parents just get super frustrated and angry (laughs) at the kids and then with each other. And there's nothing they can do because you're not at home. You can't just be like, we're going back to the car. Like, what are you going to do? Sit in the hotel room? Turn this car around. And and just like the parent, like you can tell the parents had like this really good plan for the weekend. Right. Like they go to Circus Circus with all the kids games and they're like, we can do all that and we're going to take the kids and it'll be fun right. and, and they'll have this great experience. And little Jimmy's having and a And somebody's just not meltdown. having a good day. Yeah. <laughs> and then the parents are just, and they're just looking at each other like. What are we thinking? Why? Why did we come here? Did I ever stick it in you? You know? <laughs> and she's thinking like, why? why? I don't know why. <laughs> I should have stayed with your brother. You know? <laughs> but whatever is going on. And it just. And I don't enjoy that they're not having a good time, but visually, from it's a people watch. watching, I'm like, oh my god, it's that's insane. <laughs> it's like watching Mary Povich. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, and you can tell they, they just want to have fun. You're like, pull it, somebody pull it together. But they're not. They're really not. And then you know through one of their, or both of their heads, they're thinking like, we spent how much money to have these little bastards cry? <laughs> no. No, no, no. We're going to McDonald's. Or that's the other thing, too. It's like when they're trying to decide where to go to eat. Right. And the kids want, like, pizza or McDonald's or something. And they're like, well, we could go over to the steakhouse. You know, and the kids are like, oh, yeah. I wonder why they even have the steakhouse in Circus Circus. Like, who's going there? But you see a lot of that in Reno. That's what I'm for right. here. That's right. Just, all right. So, so what's your number four? Um, I like to see people win money. Oh. That's so. Other- yeah, I mean, like, so obviously when you're in the casino and you're gambling, you're all you're obviously looking around, seeing what's going on, even when you're walking around. Right. But I love watching people win money because there's like this surprised yet euphoric state that happens, and then like strangers, like the old ladies for Big Big Pig, come like right. strangers come up and talk to you and congratulate you, like, isn't this awesome? And you're like, yeah, it is awesome. I just won like. Fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I, I once won enough to where they had to come and fill out a form, right? And had to take the if ask you if you want to take the taxes out and all that stuff. And, <laughs> and not that it was that money. It was sixteen hundred dollars. It was a lot of money, but it was not right. like so I don't I want think to make like it sound anything like anything over a certain amount. Yeah, I, assume, I think it's right. over a thousand. But um, but it's funny. Everybody was like again flocking, and they're like, "Oh my god!" Right. And we were all treating it like. I won seventy five thousand dollars. Right, you're like, oh, that's awesome. You yeah, like big roll again. That was at the Biltmore. <laughs> nice, yeah. but anyway, just it's so like it's fun to see people win. Some people, it's fun to see them enjoy it, and it's fun to see the um, almost party that happens for them when they do win. Like, right, like and again, it could be five hundred dollars or. Thirty dollars, but like the party is almost the yeah. same because it's like, yeah, I you win, won. I yeah. won. So yeah, uh, my my fourth one is creepy, and I, okay. when I was thinking about it, I'm like, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound creepy when you think about it. it. No, it does. <laughs> okay, but I figured I'd be lying if I didn't put it on. This. Okay. So when I people watch, there's something when I catch people scratching themselves that I just get. I'm like, that's freaking hilarious. Like that dude's going to town on his nuts right now. <laughs> And I feel bad, but what cracks me up or grosses me out even more is when women are like, I'm like, Shh, what's wrong with her vaj- JJ that she's spending that much time? See, that that's an interesting thing, too, though, because, like, guys do it, and they do it a lot, and they yeah. do it a lot in public, to the point where most guys don't even notice that they're doing no, it. it's just part of the deal. And as a woman, I find that gross. Yeah, Because I'm gross. like, why are you so itchy? Like, yeah. why, why can't you stop touching yourself? Well, like, have you ever thought that it's not itchiness and just enjoyment? Also, one more thing I don't need well, to whatever. see in the casino. Hey, man, that's real. So, but what I'm saying is, is like, we, like, if a woman is scratching herself, you assume there's a problem. If a man's scratching herself, that's just the way it is. 
No, no, no. There's an issue either way. It just freaks me out a little more when it's a woman. She's digging it? Because I'm, I'm like, what? You know, because, like, because, you know, the dudes, most of the stuff is external. I mean, right. So the, the chickies, they got to get after it. <laughs> It's gotta weird. get in there to scratch that itch. And so, if I'm people watching and I see that, because everyone you does, you can't look it, away because you know you're wondering. Especially, what's and I feel bad because especially women try to do it like discreetly. There's right. very few women that are just like freaking. I'm yeah. grating cheese right now. <laughs> and so, my, most oh. of the time, you know, but when you catch it, I'm always like, "That's awesome." <laughs> right next to the family that's freaking out because they don't know where they're gonna eat dinner. <laughs> so we're having McDonald's. They should just give up and yeah. freaking have the McDonald's. What's your it's number three? Um, I like seeing people get dressed up. Like watch them get dressed up? No. Like oh. I like to see people like walk around and people like, it happens a lot in Vegas where you see like a bride, for example, wandering around in her wedding dress. And <laughs> Randomly. She could be, yeah, yeah, totally. Like they may, may have already gotten married and they're partying. Back of her dress or she's tucking her on panties. Her, you never know. You never know what's happening. Scratching that herself. <laughs> Just, looking for the McDonald's. That's how it got in the panties <laughs> right. in the first place. <laughs> He's a, she needs a handler. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, uh, and here, there's not a lot of fancy things, too. Like, when we go see the shows, people are in, like, shorts and T-shirts, you know? So, right. like, it's not, like, it's dressing up is required. So, when you see people dressed up here, you're like, oh, I wonder where they're going. Yeah. She looks really nice. I wonder where they're going. Yeah, nowhere here. <laughs> <laughs> nowhere in Reno. Right, but that's what I'm saying is, like, he, like, if I see someone who's dressed up, I find myself... Like, oh, and like watching them and trying to see where they're going because yeah. now I need to know. Where Maybe there's somewhere cool to go. Yeah. Maybe we're not hip. Oh, you can eat noodle We're place. too busy, like, trying to have I'm early birds. Bird... scratch themselves. <laughs> we're too busy trying to have the early bird special yeah. to figure out the nice place to go. <laughs> uh, my, number, my number three is hand holding. Like when somebody grabs, like, their partner's hand mm-hmm. to hold their hand. I, I, for some reason, I always think that's cool. Well, yeah, it's always it's a like a, thing. reaching out, yeah, reaching out, and grabbing your hand, and little kids too. Like when <clears throat> like parents grab their little kids, like hold their hands. I, there's something about it when I'm because the connection is physically made. Yeah, I guess I don't you I like, like it. The connection, yeah, especially here in Reno because it's so weird. Because I'm like, <laughs> those hands are not clean. No, we ha- there's a lot of uh, little sanitizing wipes that we. Have. I hit those. I hit the sanitizing booth all the time. You do. <laughs> Got to sanitize. That well, shit. I don't want to be scratching myself in public, so. Got to sanitize. I just put my junk up there. Just need a hose because it it's got the tray to hold your junk. Have you ever noticed <laughs> that? There's like the little thing that dispenses, and then it's got mm-hmm. like a little tray. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's the junk tray. You put your junk up there, and then you wave your hand underneath, and it sprays down on your junk. Is that in your bathroom? <laughs> no, you didn't see it. I'll show yeah, you. When we... By all the escalators and stairs, yeah. I noticed they have a, junk a sanitize yeah. a sanitation center. Yeah. That sounds gross. It's called de scratch. <laughs> D itch, I guess, because scratch is what you do when you itch. Right. D itch. That's gross. Ditch. Ditch the bitch. Which a lot of people for a long time were like, dude, that's cruel. And you're like, no, she has an issue. Let her ditch the bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Need a grinder. Power grinder. No. Cordless. No. Mm. All right. I don't know where we are now. Three. I'm on two. Two. So um, I love watching the groups of, and I'm going to be gender specific. I love watching the groups of old ladies that are here. Yeah, they're awesome. They are so fucking awesome. Yeah. And not only are they awesome because I'm sure they're all awesome ladies, but they are so into being here and they are such good girlfriends. Yeah. Like, they're super, like, hey, you know, like, like just for example, like at the buffet this morning, there was a group of four senior ladies that I was, you know, had my eye on. I was right. checking out the whole I time was, we were there. I was waiting to see if they were going to scratch themselves. They didn't. <laughs> and they kept like, oh, you know, I'll stay Close here. Close for and business. Like... No scratching needed. <sighs> so, um... <laughs> the four um, ladies were sitting there. <laughs> so, but like, like, one lady was like, oh, I'll stay here and order us all drinks. You guys go ahead. And one was like, oh, no, I'll stay with you. And they're like, you know, they're really good girlfriends. Like, yeah. they love to hang out together. And they're all together. dressed well. They're all dressed nice. And, you know, they're like... For old ladies. They're not dressed hip. But they're dressed well for old ladies. All, and I, I actually told you this when we were online. I said, I love the way that old ladies dress. It's so, like, comfortable and, like, the perfect scenario. It's like, cozy pants, cozy shoes, a nice little quilted zip-up vest. She's styling. She's good yeah, to go. Little she's turtleneck. Good. She's committed to this all-day ga- of gambling. And she eating. had her hair done last <laughs> Thursday. She ain't going to wash it until next Thursday. It's all set. I just love... <laughs> that's probably true. I just love watching them because they are here to have a good time. Like, they literally boarded a bus... Yeah. With a group of old ladies specifically to come here and party together. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And old, old lady girlfriends, yeah. like we're 60 of us are hopping on this bus and we're going to go party together. I like That's it. awesome. I want to hang out with those ladies. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I might later in life. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah <laughs> we're not that far think. away. My number two. <laughs> later tonight. <laughs> my number two, which is brutal, is I like watching people fall. <laughs> that happens a lot, though. But not, <laughs> not old people. No, Because that no, freaks me out. Yeah. And it, not little kids, because little kids... They don't know to put their arms out, and I feel bad. Right, because they hit their face It just plant. ruins yeah. their whole day. They don't get it. But, like, from maybe 12 to 50? It's okay. Oh, if you go down, I think it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Unless you get really... And I hope... Ever, I don't want anyone to get hurt. That's not the point. Right. But, hey, trust me. When I stacked on my bike, I thought it was freaking... I, I'm like, right. I know somebody right now is laughing their ass <laughs> off. I also love when they, like hop back up really fast like oh yeah whoa, that's me whoa. that is me I'm like whoa, I'm okay yeah I hop up like <laughs> and then they have to limp off yeah <laughs> totally meant to take out that whole rack of you know, <laughs> gold sequin bikinis um, like whoa but I don't know what it is but just it's watching people, people take a dive that I'm like oh my god that's awesome it's like but watching- I'll also go help people I won't sit no, there yeah, and just no. point I will go and help you're one of those while I'm laughing right but it's yeah. like when you see a really good friend fall like you, especially when they seem like a little bit hurt like you're kind of laughing because you can't help it but then you're like trying to help them up you're like I'm sorry <laughs> I'm yeah. trying not to laugh I can't help it I'm so yeah. sorry but what can I do oh my god and like in your head you're like oh my god stop laughing <laughs> yeah. no I don't well it's funny my friends and well, I, I we, we always have like this thing that's like if something like that happens take the freaking picture first you know unless the person's gonna die right you know but if whatever's broken is broken you're, it's not gonna heal itself right. it's not gonna suck itself either <laughs> So it's also like take take the picture. You take the picture, <laughs> take the video because we'll never have this option again. again. Yeah. Option opportunity okay. again. I, right. um, I I think I told you about this, but um, I had that epic fall once. I'm, I'm a good faller downer, but um, I was working at the Presidio at the mothership. But what's funny is I was in an independent contractor at the time, so they were paying me to be there. On the side, <laughs> but I, I was with a, uh, the same coworker I have now, who was also doing the same job, and another guy who also actually works there. So three people who Don't left. Sorry, uh, so three people who used to work at for uh, Lucasfilm, who were working for Lucasfilm independently, were all together, and mm-hmm. so we were doing this job. And for some reason, we decided to go off campus for for lunch and. And I don't know why, but I had, like, some soup that I was carrying around with me. Cause, and they were like, well, we're going to go for a walk. And I was like, okay, I'll go. But then I have to carry my soup. And so we were walking through, um, what's the park that's right across from Presidio that has the big dome? Oh, yeah, that's where the Exploratorium used to be, but it's not the Exploratorium. I know what you're talking about. It's, right. um, anyway, yeah. Right, so so we're, so we're walking through that the park. Conserv- not the Conservatorium. Uh, anyway. Observer, no, no. Not the, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll think of it. But um, so we were walking through there, and um, I must have been like spring or something because there was a lot of acorns on the ground. Mm-hmm. And I was just kind of looking around because it was a really pretty day. And I totally stepped on an acorn and I slipped, and my legs flew out, and I fell back, and I fell back onto my back. And I, but I don't know how I did this, but I somehow like did this epic fall down and just kind of managed to turn myself and land on my back holding up my cup of soup like this yeah and and the two um co-worker guys that I was with like they kept walking and I fell behind them yeah <laughs> and they were like oh and I think they heard me hit and that's what made them turn around and yeah. they're and they both kind of like put their hands up in the air and both like oh oh um oh oh my god um uh <laughs> And you could say they're both starting to laugh. And then, like, one of them bent down, like, um, are you okay? And I'm like, take my soup. <laughs> and he's like, um, okay. So he took my soup and, like, put it down. And then the other guy's like, damn it, where's my camera? <laughs> like, it's where's my true. phone? <laughs> and so, like, it took me a minute to, like, get up and walk it off. But, but like, he actually said, like, oh, my God, we should have taken a picture of that. It's hilarious. And now, um, every now and then, one, one of them, if I see them, will just, like, if there's cables and stuff on the ground, if it's a treacherous walk or if there's stuff on the ground, they'll be like, acorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, one of your favorite spills for me was when we were walking, you were walking zero. And that guy, it was yes. early in the morning, the guy came around the corner jogging and you freaked <laughs> out. 
And he scared me because I didn't see him. It was just dark. Went, you went to zero, didn't even do anything. Yeah. You just went down on the grass. I was like. I slipped like, because the grass was wet. Yeah. It was like a rainy morning, and I totally fell down and hit my butt so hard. Yeah. And I took zero with me. <laughs> it wasn't a rainy morning, it was summer. <laughs> the grass was wet. The grass may have been wet. <laughs> But yeah, yeah I was, went you down. just went. I scared I was myself. Was what happened? Yeah, you scared yourself so much you tripped yourself by yeah. not even moving. And right. zero didn't like he didn't pull you. He didn't. No, yeah. He was just like, um, we all looked at you like, are you okay? What is going weird. on? That's I'm weird. Like, I freaked myself Why are you out? on the ground? Yeah. So, uh, my number one is that your number one? No, that's my number. Uh, I did my number two was old ladies. Did, what was your number two? Falling. So we're on my number one. I think we we're see. on my number one, and then your number one. Oh, okay. I was go just, ahead. I was, I was. Oh, oh right. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. One else script. One. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um, so my number one is very sweet and happy. Yeah. Um, it's I like watching couples, for lack of a better word, in love here, like um, or anywhere for that matter. Like right. I love watching couples, um, hang out together and be together, and they're having a good time, and then, especially because it, this is a small place, so you see them often right and so like you just see them hanging out and they're having a good time and like oh kissy face and i'm like oh yeah where we are is so three nice. three hotels the circus circus silverado and el dorado <clears throat> and they all three have wedding Not chapels silverado. silver Labor legacy silver legacy right uh are all attached and they mm-hmm. have a one general meeting place and so you can walk in and out of all three of them without ever going outside right. it's actually pretty cool Right. So you, but you see the people that are here, especially when it's slow. Right. It's the same same people people all the time. time. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I just like seeing the couples that are like super into each other. Makes me happy. Makes Uh, me happy for them. (laughs) My number one is I love watching people talk to themselves. I do it. I do it all the time. That happens a lot. All the time when they're gambling, it happens a lot when they're gambling. I always talk to myself. Like I'm talking mouth moving, talking to yourself. I make like the whole facial things. (laughs) Have a whole conversation. But I love watching it because people. I know that I do it sometimes, animated. and you ask me like, "What?" And I'm like, "What?" Yeah. And you're like, "What did you say?" And I'm like, "Well, I wasn't because I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to myself." <laughs> My dad will be walking around their house and their property, and he'll be wanting to like do stuff, and he'll actually point. He'll be out there by himself, pointing and having full conversations. Like, oh, we need with to do himself. this. Yeah. <laughs> but here in Reno, a lot of people do, especially with gambling, because people get upset because they right. lose money and, or get excited, and they're just. Talking to himself, I think it's the best thing. I like watching that. So if I can get, if I can, if I can see somebody walk around, they they they're holding their partner's hand. Then their partner like goes off. They have to go to the bathroom. So when their partner goes off, they start scratching themselves mm-hmm. while talking to themselves. Then and they then, fall down. Then they fall down. Your day is made. Oh my Your day! <laughs> oh my god! The year? I'll pack it in. That's it. Like can't it's, get better than this. Yeah, you gotta go. It's like winning Powerball. <laughs> So that was the that was the finale. Yeah. Got to go. All right, let's get out of here. You hungry? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for listening. Go to darkangelsofprettyfreaks.com and check out our website check and go YouTube. check out the YouTube video of the our lovely ghost misadventures. <laughs> and uh, maybe we should do more of that. We'll talk know. more. Oh, we have a, a episode 100 coming up, and people want us to do a live show. I don't know if we'll be able to. We've gotten a few requests for that. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we'll. We'll, well I think it out. it's mostly because um, when people want to like tweet in but or comment in, but can't I can't. Do, it's so distracting. We need to somebody have a, to sit there. And, yeah, we would need do. like a handler to like handle the chat room or something. Yeah, if we could but, have somebody who was with us or online that w- was talking would would also, and maybe 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 we can have Hannah do. It. Maybe we can do it through Skype, where Hannah would be in charge of the chat room, and we'll have him on Skype. And then as we do the show, he could interrupt with so and so just asked blah 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 blah, and it might be cool. So we'll have to see. <laughs> oh, and we didn't even mention Jamaica Cast 2017 with Hannah, but we'll talk about that later. Thank you very much Ooh. from the El Dorado in Reno. 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 The most haunted place in the universe. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thank you, everybody. Okay.